SMS Turbo can be configured in nearly an endless number of ways to address the ticketing needs of landfills and transfer stations. The following examples represent just a few of those possible configurations. For our first example, we will start by generating a ticket where the individual name and address of the person bringing the material in is not of particular importance. We will start by entering a vehicle ID, in this case Connecticut Vehicle 1234. We will simply select local resident as our customer and capture the weight from the scale automatically. If our camera option is being utilized, an image of the vehicle on the scale will be captured automatically. We will move on to selecting our material, in this case municipal solid waste. You'll notice that our location was automatically selected because we've established a default location for the system. At any point you can change that default to a different value. At this point we will store our ticket and the customer would proceed to unload his first material. Upon returning to the scale, we would recall the ticket and capture our weight. The next image is captured and we can proceed to add more materials to the ticket. There is no practical limit to the number of materials that can be added to a ticket. Let's say the customer also was bringing in some construction debris. The ticket is stored. Once again they unload their material, return to the scale, and capture their weight. Additional materials could be added, including materials that are not weighed. For example, the customer might be bringing in some tires that are larger than 16 inches, which are charged by the each. We simply enter their quantity, in this case 3, and save the ticket. When we are done adding materials and getting weights, we can proceed to payment. The system will prompt the operator as to how much money needs to be collected, and they can enter the amount tendered, and the system will automatically inform them how much change is due back to the customer. Alternately, we could enter a check number, or accept credit cards for payments. When payment has been processed, we can capture the signature. At this point, we can proceed to print and store the ticket. Our ticket is complete. For our next example, we will generate a ticket for a commercial hauler involving a mixture of weighted and non-weighted materials. We'll start by entering truck number AH668, which will automatically recall Andrew Hall Landscaping as our customer. These relationships between trucks and customers can be established and can greatly aid in the speed of which a ticket can be generated in SMS Turbo. If we needed to change the customer at this point, we could simply do so by clicking on the Browse button or overwriting the value in the Customer field. We will also note that the default order was selected for this particular customer. This can be changed, and in this example we will do so now, and change the order to the Oak Hills Cleanup Project. At this point, we will capture our first heavy weight and select our first material, in this case, construction debris. We store our ticket and the customer proceeds to unload. Upon recalling the ticket, we will capture the second weight and add our next weighted material. In this case, we'll select municipal solid waste. We'll store our ticket. The customer proceeds to unload, and upon returning to the scale, we recall his ticket. We'll capture our weight. And proceed to add more materials. We'll move on to the non-weighted materials. Let's say he's bringing in an air conditioner for a quantity of two. He's bringing in some car batteries for a quantity of six. And maybe some tires. Quantity of three. Once we have finished adding materials to the ticket, we can move on to finalize the transaction. We are going to capture the signature. At this point, you will notice that our ticket is not automatically marked as paid. 
That is because our customer in question has a status of OK and has an established credit limit and available open to buy. We do not need to mark the amount that is received, nor the check. We can simply store this ticket and know that it will be processed with our next invoice during our next billing process. We simply save and print our ticket. For our last example, we will create a ticket that does not include any weighted materials, but only materials that involve each items or quantity items. This may be particularly useful for facilities that are using pay-as-you-throw programs, hazardous waste days, or just a ticket that does not include any weighted materials. We'll start by picking a non-weighted vehicle. We'll accept the automatically recalled local resident as our customer and proceed directly to the materials that are being entered. We will select that they are bringing in two air conditioners. We will add to the ticket three tires that are less than 15 inches. We'll add a couple of tires that are larger than 16 inches. And finally, we'll add some car batteries. Our ticket has been built. We can enter our cash tendered. Be prompted to give back the change due. Capture the customer's signature. And store our ticket.